Dad, have you got such a big mic? What, that? Is that big? Well, what are you used to? I'm used to that. All right, well, it's big. Okay. Um, big what, for me. What I thought I'd do not I can barely is, put it in my mouth. Well, you don't have to put it I in your mouth. How are you meant to put this in your mouth? You, you don't put it in your mouth. Why well, is it going to hear my voice? I'm not in your mouth, I can hear you. Well, you're not in my mouth yet. No. All right, let's see how it goes. Okay. Um, you're the star of a new film, Grimsby, which is right here. There you are, posted on that. For anyone that's not seen Grimsby, tell us, tell us what this movie's all about. It, it's the story of two brothers who were orphaned at the age of six. One of them went to a posh family in London, Eton, Cambridge, mm. MI6. The other one just stayed in the Grimsby foster system and went on the dole. In case you're wondering, I actually didn't play the posh brother. Right, you're the... Yeah, they said, the other one. you are perfect for a mentally challenged northerner. That's yeah, what yeah, the yeah. casting agent said, mm -hmm. which I think meant I was brilliant at acting. Yeah that's, what I, yeah, that's what I took from that as well. But you become kind of like a hero in the movie. That's right. Um, are are you right. sort of like the, the, the James Bond of, of Grimsby? Well, I wouldn't say that I'm the James Bond of Grimsby, mm. but on different days when I go to sign on, I am the Nobby Butcher, the Stephen Tinsley, the Mickey Pallet, mm. and the <laughs> Mrs. Mira Bhattacharya of Grimsby. <laughs> and obviously, listen, I, I don't just sign on, I also do some work. Mm. I'm a Michael Jackson impersonator. In fact, name any song. Uh, man in the Mirror. How's it start? Uh, I'm starting with the Man in the Mirror. I'm not of it. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite Jacko then when you're uh, doing the, the Michael Jackson impersonating? You know, I like I like to beat it. Um, yeah. But as far as his songs, I've never heard of any of them. Never heard of them. Okay, cool. And what about since you know these posters have gone up and I'm seeing yeah. these everywhere? Are people coming up to you in the street now, Nobby, and, and being like, wow, it's him from that film? Yeah, a lot of people have been coming up to me. I mean, usually they're saying, I'm arresting you under suspicion of urinating in a public place. Right. But when the movie comes out, they're going to be asking for my autograph. Mm -hmm. And I'm very worried, mm -hmm. you know, mainly because I can't write. Mm. Um, by the way, how did you deal with that problem? With what? Not being able to write. I can write. Come on. I can I There's can a reason write. you're on radio. I can write, I can read. It's sure all going on. Can. All right. It's all Come going on. on. What's after G? H. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Before we go, would you like to give a message to everyone listening to, to Radio 1? Yeah, listen, everyone on Rabio, Rabio? Rabio's won, right? Listen, I've got a film coming out. It's called Grimsby. It's in the cinemas, I don't know, uh, in February. 20, uh, 20, 2-4, 2-4, what's that? 24. Yep. Um, and it's got explosions. It's got, if you like, uh, it's got explosions. It's got gorgeous lasses in. And it's got, uh, if you like, men's... Ding Dongs, it's got that in. You mm. know, it's got some animals ones as well. It's got, I kill loads of people in it. It's got a lot of extreme mindless violence. By the way, if you don't go and see it, I'm going to be selling, you know, DVDs outside the cinema anyway. You know, they're a bit shaky and they've got a bloke sort of standing up in the middle of them. Sounds good. Thank you, Nobby. Good luck with the movie. Yeah, what do you mean good luck? I've done it. Yeah, I mean, with, what, with the success of the film. Oh, yeah, yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Thanks, Nobby. Well, yeah, you said that. Yeah.